out today. She needed a break, so I said I'd make a video today for you guys. I'm at Dad's farm, and I'm getting all the stuff I need for all the jobs I gotta do today. Got some water, got some oil, batteries, you know, tools, all that stuff. We got the shop chickens out this morning. These are my mom's pets. I just kind of walk around eating bugs. Here's Betty. Hey, Pop. The mini Australian Shepherd. Good girl. Good girl. Coming out to one of Dad's fields, and the uh, the road hasn't been uh, dissed after we filled it, so it's really rough. Oh my goodness. Out this motor now. This is like the other motor. 460 Ford with a heat exchanger for to keep it cool and natural gas for the fuel. They do use oil, but they don't smoke when you're running like, I don't know, one of them uses like a half a gallon a day, but for, uh, and since they burn natural gas, they burn really clean. While the pivot fills up with water, I'll put away all my tools. Tractor, see the corn just licking the bottom of the bar. 
We've already ridged this once before. We're just doing it again. So the water will flow through the ridge is nice. Just don't have to come scoop with a shovel. Uh, you can't really tell from the camera, but anyway, it's all curled up. Pivot's coming for most of it. But this corner doesn't get watered by the pivot. So we'll get pipe out here eventually. But it's only like four acres, so it's not a huge concern. No more fun jobs. Back to chasing pivots. About to start this motor. I did all the stuff that I did on the other one. Oil, drip oil, grease the shaft, put water in it, put the drain plugs in. So now I'm gonna start it for you. I decided to change my oil and look, I spilled. She squirts a little farther than I thought. And yeah, this is after I have uh, come in for the night and showered. And I got all my face, got all so. Yeah, it's about 10 o'clock, so I think I'm going to call it a night and go shower again. I'll finish this up in the morning. So I thought it'd be a wise guy and uh, Go with my better judgment and uh, finish the task at hand because I was already dirty and I might get dirtier and I was right. Ugh. So yeah, I'm gonna finish the job. And I'm not gonna go in yet. I'll finish changing the oil. All right, so I haven't done a mail time in a while and since I went to the PO box yesterday, <clears throat> I thought I'd show you guys what I got, um, and I just want you to listen for just like five seconds. All right, it is just like the sounds of summer. The sprinklers are running. You can hear all the pivot motors running, birds chirping. Anyway, so we're going to start off with a letter from Lincoln, Nebraska. That's really close. This is from the Nebraska Trucking Association. He thinks there needs to be more trucking influencers. Uh, look at um, look up just trucking. They have a really good YouTube channel. They talk about their life with trucking. Um, this is from Michael Hill in Gaston, South Carolina. Went on vacation to South Carolina once when I was a kid. It was beautiful. I loved it there. He sent a nice letter. Subscriber since we started the channel um, and a ton of stickers. Um, we're still putting stickers on the booth. We've gotten ones from literally all over the world and it's so cool. First package is from Amazon. I really wish I could respond to all of you guys, but this is my response. I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching my YouTube videos, sending me stuff, supporting my channel. It, it means a lot. Ooh. We got a little NASA cap, very cute. And we have a mug. The note says, Laura, live in Houston, Texas, from Bob. Thank you. Next package is from Mesa, Arizona. Grant and I have been there. It's really pretty. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we have a piece of turf. We have a, a little notepad. This is from his business. A letter. Oh, this is one of his garden tools that's made in Arizona. Very cool. I will pass this along to David so he can use it in his garden. And then here's a hat from his company. Thank you. Okay, last but not least, we have a package all the way from Sweden to Nebraska. This thing is so heavy. I just have to think, 
It must have cost a fortune to ship. I don't take any of this for granted. Okay, very well packed. Oh my goodness. Okay, so it is a box full of Swedish candies and there is labels on all of them. Oh my goodness. Okay, now all of my watchers and followers from Sweden, Swedish cakes and cookies. Oh cute, a cookbook. So Sweden holds a very special place in my heart. I've never been but that's where my ancestors came from. Um, in 1910, they came over and started my family's farm. Um, I'm the fifth generation farmer. And so I feel like this deep connection to Sweden because I have Swedish ancestry um, on both sides of my parents. Um, and so I am just honored that I have people over there watching me. Um, I am so excited to try all these different candies. What should I try first? <laughs> Oh my goodness. Thank you so, so, so much for watching my videos, you guys. I feel so much love in my heart. Have a great day.